Hi everyone, I want to give you a little tour of our bake house and offices here in Chesterfield, Michigan. We also have a little storefront where you can come in and buy a pie too, so come on. This is our very small storefront here. We have cream pies, we have fruit pies, we have this little small hand pies, and a lot of uh, cookies, a couple different kinds of cake. We also carry our Amish dairy here in the dairy cooler, and we sell a lot of savory pies here in our freezer. You can take those home and bake them. Chicken pot pie, lobster, beef, and those come in uh, nine inch and six inch in size. We also carry lots of soup. So this is all of our good Ackett's homemade soup. So here at our headquarters, we have our maintenance department, our um, head of sanitation and maintenance. Those kind of both go together. Uh, and we also have our fundraiser coordinator. We have our HR department. Uh, if you were to be hired here at Ackett's Pies, we still have a few positions open because we're opening a new store in Bloomfield Hills this spring. This is our head of logistics, Connie, over here. She um, tracks everything and schedules everything to come and go as far as the truckloads of supplies that we get. Michael's our purchaser, so he is uh, making sure that we don't run out of pie tins or pie boxes or sugar or apples or anything like that. So he works closely with our shipping and receiving department. Andrew's head of that. Connie is our head of the driving department. So we all work together to make sure things go smooth. And this is our DOR board department operational report. And so it's January 2nd. We're getting ready to fill this in for the week. And we're starting to talk about our goals for 2023 as far as our sales, our labor, our cost of goods, and they always usually have a couple other things that we track and we mix it up every couple of weeks. Like we're gonna track our pot pie sales. We might track how many pre-orders we're taking for a holiday. We might track how many coupons we've given out, things like that. So just fun little mini games to keep it fun and interesting and um, to keep the team members uh, engaged and excited. So this is what we call our DOR board. This was a display that we had in all of our stores throughout the month of December. Um, you could enter to win this tower of pies or soup or whatever you want to come in and buy. We gave away a $250 gift card in each one of our seven locations. If you filled out a little entry form, which included a five questionnaire survey, uh, some of the questions on that survey that we wanted to hear from our guests were, um, what did you come in for and did we have it? Uh, what new pie would you like us to make that we don't currently carry? I think another question was, were you greeted and offered a sample? Uh, is this your first time in? I think those were the only questions that were on that survey. And so each store had a winner and we're really, we were really excited about that. So this is a, a special office that we have to have for our USDA inspector because we make chicken pot pies, beef pot pies, and that is all under the USDA. So every time that we are making pot pies, our inspector is on premise and we have to have a work space for him or her. This is also a room that our SQF practitioner has. SQF means safe quality food. So there's just a ton of paperwork and a lot of uh, verifications and a lot of inspections. And we send our pies um, out to the lab to get lab reports. And so we just wanna make sure that everything is SQF safe quality food. This is our bakehouse. It smells great in here. So my husband Dave and I started baking pies out of our house 30 years ago. So I can start saying 30 now because it's 2023. So in 1993, we started baking a few pies, selling it in the local farmer's markets and we are made a flea market. 30 years later, here we are in our uh, 20,000 square foot bakehouse and we supply quite a few grocery stores. We have our own pie shops here in Metro Detroit as well. So I'm gonna show you through. This is the specialty room. Let's go in there and see what they're making. So today we're making carrot cakes and this is the way we frost our carrot cakes. 
So our filler is filled with 100 pounds of cream cheese frosting. Spreads on the carrot cake. And then it gets walnuts. So one of my friends is a 92-year-old carpenter. He does a little bit of carpentry work for me. And his birthday was this last October. And I asked him, what kind of pie do you want for your birthday? And he said, carrot cake <laughs> with cream cheese frosting. And then I said, if we're out of carrot cake, what's your second choice? And he said, well, I'll take a slice of banana cream if it's fresh. <laughs> so Madison is our SQF practitioner. You're here working today. So today what I'm working on is um, just some R&D to try and figure out the best method to freeze and cool our pies, our cream pies. So for you guys that might not know what R&D means, it's research and development. Yes. And so with our cream pies, I'm really excited about our cream pies. We use a, a milk from local Amish dairy farms mm -hmm. that's not been homogenized. Mm -hmm. And it's also been low vat pasteurized, so you know all of the good microbiology that's in the milk is not being cooked off and killed off at high temps. Exactly. But Whitney here is helping out the soup uh, department today. Uh, we've run low on soup. We just had a meeting, and you know after that cold snap in December, right before Christmas, we ran out of soup. I think it's our number two bestseller, Hungarian mushroom. It's really, really tasty. So this is the fun dough room. And just like we were talking earlier when we were in the uh, retail pie shop where Sarah J and her team keep track of her sales numbers and different things that they want to track on their department organizational report. Here in the dough room, we also have uh, some different boards that we use for different things. This is what we call oven alley. And we have two rows of various different types of ovens. Each one of these ovens can bake about 100 pies at a time. These are little reach-in ovens as we, we call them. Oh, there's some pies baking. <laughs> so Alex is our head baker over here and I know she's got the timer on. So this looks like three Michigan Fourberry, our signature pie. and. We run out of these throughout the day and we're constantly rebaking fresh pies throughout the day for our storefront. So we're open for a few more hours and so they thought they'd put a few more pies in. But we bought this stack of ovens 30 years ago when we first started and we had these in our house in our back room and we're still using them. <laughs> these are pies that have been baked and they're in the cooling area and they are just naturally cooling. We've got some fans on them, nothing very high tech. We cool a pie the same way your grandmother might have cooled a pie in her window ledge, just letting it cool very slowly. We don't like to put the pies in the refrigerator to cool them because uh, they'll collect condensation and get wet and soggy. So these are apple pies, one of our best sellers. We call this the double crust apple because it has a plain pastry crust on the top with the beautiful hand crimped around. And I've done a couple of training videos on how to bake an apple pie. And to me, uh, I would score this pie 98% out of 100. Uh, I think it's beautiful golden brown. They sprinkle the top with the right amount of sugar. And if you look at the parchment paper, they've got the right amount of boil out coming out on the parchment. You see the uh, cinnamon sugar apple juice uh, boil out over the edge a little bit is what we're looking for. We don't want to lose too much of the filling. Um, so another way to see if this apple pie is done is we also insert a fork in every few of the pies to make sure the apples are tender. We'll put it on the scale and weigh it, make sure that it's still not too heavy because if it's too heavy it didn't boil out, lose enough of the steam and juice that it needed to, or that it's not underweight. If it's an underweight pie, then we can't sell it either. We also have a thermometer that we'll put in the center of that pie to make sure that it hit the right temperature. And another reason you wanna make sure you hit temperature is that the starch is the thickening agent, whether you're using cornstarch or tapioca or flour, um, 
you want to make sure that that was activated and it doesn't get activated unless you get the right temperature. Probably the very final way that we really make sure that we bake them high correctly is we take a, a tray, a pizza tray, and we'll flip this pie upside down. We'll pull the pie tin off and we want to look at the bottom crust. If the bottom crust is golden brown, then you know you've got a perfect pie on top of everything else. So here on our pallet racking, we store a lot of our cardboard for packaging. I see some brown sugar up there. We've got some aluminum pie tins up there. We need a certified forklift driver to get all that stuff down for us. And here's our forklift. So I would have never thought 30 years ago that I would have to purchase a forklift. This is the new section of our plant. We had to add on five or 10,000 square feet a few years ago. And we've got our skylights in it, so it's very uh, lead. It's not lead certified, but it's very lead back here with the skylights and the radiant heaters and things that are built in to conserve energy. As uh, many of you see, these are uh, these blue drums are outside in the front lawn in front of the Armada Pie Shop. <laughs> and we sell them for, uh, I think, um, 25 or 30 bucks a piece when they're empty. But what's in here is corn syrup. We do not use high fructose corn syrup. It's non-GMO corn syrup, which is very important to us uh, for our green initiative to save the soil. We do not use any GMOs in our factory. Uh, we eliminated them, had to go through every single ingredient. We're looking continually to inspect every single ingredient that comes into our bakehouse. And so we use this in only one pie, and that is our pecan pie. My pecan pie recipe came from my Amish friends out of uh, one of their Amish cookbooks. And uh, it uses a little um, light corn syrup brown sugar, white sugar, eggs, butter, and pecans, and a little salt and vanilla. So it's a pretty easy recipe. What's not so easy is making sure that we have the right ingredients. Here we have about $5,000 worth of pecan halves. <laughs> so I'm in the back of the bakehouse right now in the shipping and receiving area. We've got a little bit of stock left. This is the first week of January, so um, throughout the whole month of January and February, we are very slow. In our bakehouse, we'll do a lot of cleaning, counting, um, counting our inventory, that is. So this is our seasoned chicken that we purchase. And tomorrow we're gonna be making about 5,000 chicken pot pies to restock all of our freezers at our pie shops. We're getting ready for National Pie Day where they will be on sale. So we're just trying to keep people busy through January. Down here are generators in case our power goes out. So we are up here in the mezzanine. More packaging storage up here. We also have the uh, maintenance room is up here too where our maintenance guys will work on our equipment up here. So this is where we keep all of our tools and things like that. Constantly things break down in your factory. Constantly things need to be worked on and repaired. So these guys have to stay in this cage so they don't get out. <laughs> So if you enjoyed the tour of our bakehouse, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to share this video with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more. I'd love to hear your questions or comments in the comment section below. I answer every one. Appreciate you coming out today. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. If you made it this far and you're still with me, we're giving away free slices of pie to every one of our YouTube subscribers. On February 1st, 2023, come on in, show us your phone that you're a subscriber and they'll give you a free slice of pie of your choice in any of our locations.